hope we can get Ouch! Ow! 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 We will witness now if there are mosquito driving in this container. Hi guys, it's high time now to reveal our secret how to produce massive mosquito larva. In the past videos that we have, we always said that the success of our breeding largely depend on the kind of food we are giving to our breeders and even to the koi fry and this fry of goldfish. That's correct actually. And let me share with you today how to breed mosquitoes in a massive scale. For us to really become successful in this business, we have to produce our own live food. So this is how we do it. Take note guys that I have here a big pail and this big pail has cover. And what we're gonna do is we will put this under this bushy area and we will fill this container with water so come on let's have a glance how we're gonna do this thing see that so this is a shaded part and there are plenty of mosquitoes here. We intend to put this under these bushes because these mosquitoes don't like sun rays. So they wanted to stay here in this bushy area. So we will put this one. We will place here. Okay. So you look at the mosquitoes. There are really plenty. They're flying. Our technique is we will place this pail here and we will fill this with water. You notice that there is a hole over here and we will put this cover. Cover. You know mosquitoes will be attracted to dark and since it's very dark we will they really find ways on how to get inside and lay their eggs. So as their first food of the larva we place the banana peeling over here but later we will do this what we're gonna do is to put the water first and some leaves of the Indian almond tree and this is locally known as the talisai tree in our in our place so we have here talisai tree we will use talisai leaves we will put this here and you will witness that three to five days from today, mosquito larva will really be gathered from inside in this container. So come on, we will get the water and we will fill this pail. The water we use is the green water because mosquito larvae will, you know, die in chlorinated water. So. This is an old water, green water. Okay, and we will put this one. Banana peeling and some leaves of talisai. So this is gonna be enough for that one container. Look at here. We will put this. Okay, we will place two more pails. We will fill this up with water. Okay. And seven days from today, I am sure that we can gather thousands of mosquito larvae 
You look at this mosquito. You look at them. The purpose of this cover is to prevent the rainwater from getting inside, from overflowing, okay, and perspiring. So we will put this cover and you look at this. This dark place will attract the mosquitoes to get inside and lay their eggs. So this is how we do it. So we will check this after five days and you will be amazed that there are a lot of food, live food for our koi fry and even goldfish. This is the seventh day of our mosquito culture and I am so positive that we can get mosquito larva out of the container that we placed outdoor which is I think more than 30 gallons. I am excited. We're gonna check this out if we can get some mosquito larvae. Okay? So come on. Hope we can get ouch ow 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 right we will witness now if there are mosquito driving in this container wow look at that oh my goodness there are plenty plenty of them okay so as you can recall we placed some leaves of this oh my goodness these are plenty okay so we're gonna check if we can get some see that you see this one this is the best food for a koi okay wow this is massive okay see that see this one so we have to get all of them because we cannot just allow them to fly and they will become dengue carrier oh my goodness these are massive mosquitoes you can imagine so you see there are smaller ones and these smaller ones will be the first food for our betta fish the bigger ones will be given to the breeder we will get the bigger ones first that okay so we will feed them we will try to feed this to our breeder coins come on our breeder coy are eager now to eat this one come on eat come on eat this one we are conditioning them to lay eggs and these small ones will be will be fed to our small fighting so this is all that we can share with you today guys how to produce mosquito larvae in a massive scale i hope you would like and share our videos actually this works for us and maybe you can try if you are in an area where you can find bushes in the swampy area you can also adapt this method but so far this is the best method that we have discovered so thank you for watching and I hope you will like and share our videos and you will continue to follow us and if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe for our future exciting videos only here at Dexter's World.